Are you a messy painter? Perhaps you're a little too passionate with your canvas or you like to fly color all over the place? In this video right here, I'm gonna show you how to clean up oil paint that gets stuck on your skin real quick. Coming at you right now. Hello, Wild coming at you from my creative control playlist where I try to bring you the best tips tricks and even a little bit of education just like in this video right here. If this is your first time here, consider subscribing and hitting that bell so you know when my videos go live. If you're an avid painter, one of the biggest rules you have to do after you finish a painting is easily you got to clean up. Most of us are concerned about cleaning up around our workstation, whether it be our tools and brushes or our palette itself, but a lot of times we forget about cleaning up our skin. And it's not good to leave those oil-based paints stain on your skin or even dry up. So I'm gonna show you some quick tips to actually get all of those oil-based paints off your skin. Tip number one, if you guys have seen me paint before, you know I'm a big advocate of using baby wipes. I even put it in my art hack video, which I'll link up there that you can take a look at because it's got a lot of great tips as well. But using baby wipes is one of the best ways of getting paint off of your skin. Keep these nice and moist, and all you gotta do is just take one out, and if you've got any paint on your skin, I've got a little bit of loose paint right here, as long as it's wet and it's just been applied to your skin, go ahead and just use one of these and just wipe it off and use it thusly. Make sure to wipe in a circular motion and get all of your fingers or wherever you have it on your body off really quick. Baby wipes are one of the best tools you'll have as an artist if you ever get anything on your skin. And even sometimes, depending on how much you get on your skin or even on your clothes, these things work miracles. Tip number two. If you have been painting for a little bit and you've got some paint on you here and there, some spackle parts or it's splattered somewhere, or maybe you just accidentally brush a little bit around you and it's had a little bit of chance to dry, I would highly recommend using dish soap, but not any dish soap, any dish soap that's gonna be able to cut through grease. I've had really good success with Dawn, but there's a lot of other brands out there, but basically any high quality dish soap or even detergent, as long as it can cut through grease and oil will work really well on your skin. What I recommend doing is actually apply the soap to the area that has the paint on it before you actually apply water. If you look at the science of the way that soap works, it actually wants to bind to the dirty material first. Once you create a nice small lather, then introduce water into the mix, and that is what is actually pulls the dirt and the oil away from your skin and onto the water to wash down and in. Now there's two ways. If it's dried on there a little bit, you can use either a nice little tea towel or a rag moisten it up and rub it against your skin and get all of that extra dried on paint to come off. Or you can even use a very soft sponge. I actually prefer using the soft sponge because you can pick these up at the dollar store for extremely cheap or you can even buy them in bulk on Amazon. So that way if you need to do any cleaning around your house, you got extra sponges as well. That's a really good bro tip for all you guys out there. Tip number three, you've probably seen this at your local art store or maybe even on Amazon and you're probably wondering if it's worth getting. It's actually an artist soap cleaning bar. And I thought this was a waste of money when I first bought it, but guess what? This is a great multitasker. And the reason why is it's great for cleaning your hands if you have dried paint on them or even wet paint on them. It's a little bit pumicey, so it's really good at working up a good lather and getting underneath all of that paint to get it off your skin. But the thing that I found out that's actually really good with this, if you act fast enough, if you get some paint on your pants or your shirt or your apron or your smock or whatever you kind of like to paint in, you can work this into your clothes and create, create a nice lather, let it suds up a little bit, rub the clothing together and then throw it in your wash and all of the paint will come off your clothes and it won't stain and or damage or ruin the clothing. And I've actually used this for that task more than anything because a lot of times I reach over on my palette or my shirt dangles across my painting and I get soap on it, or sorry, I get paint on it, this thing works miracles all the time. So I do actually recommend having one of these for all the big boy uh-ohs that come across in your painting adventures. Tip number four, let's say you don't have baby wipes, you don't have the soap, you don't have the soap bar. That's okay, most of us paint within our own home and if you do, you probably have a kitchen and then within that kitchen, you probably have a cooking oil. And that cooking oil you're probably using all the time is olive oil. Olive oil works wonders of taking away excess oil that's been adhered to your skin. You may have to do a little bit of more working to get it to come off. So what I recommend is use an extra towel or use a sponge like I mentioned before 
and just work it in in small circular motions and it'll start eating away all of that oil as it adheres to your skin. And for an extra pro tip, but we'll do it in another video, these are this oil is very, very good at actually cleaning your brushes and conditioning them. But that's for another video that we'll do down the line. Now, you don't have to be limited to just olive oil. A lot of people use olive oil just because it's something you can commonly have in your house, but you can also use coconut oil. And there's a lot of other uh, oils out there you can use. It's just coconut and olive oil I have used myself for cleaning off my skin and uh, helping condition my brushes. So you always have this as an option as well. Well, 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 I just gave you a bunch of awesome ways to clean off all of those hands and fingers. And for some of you people out there, even your face. I love when people get really into their painting. But hey, let's say you didn't have any of those materials at all. I got a little extra bonus tip for you. Did you know actually smooth peanut butter and mayonnaise will actually get oil-based paints off of your skin as well? It's a little grosser to put on your body, but hey, sometimes when you get into the thick of your paintings and you run out of all those materials, feel free to put down a little bit of peanut butter and work it into your skin or even mayonnaise, let it sit on there for a little bit and work it off. It'll pull off the oil paint as well. So that's a little extra bro tip for all you people out there. Hey, if you guys like this video and you wanna help support me, feel free to visit me on all of my social medias. You got Twitter and Instagram and even Snapchat. You can watch me paint on twitch.tv slash wildforgames. And you can keep up with me and see all of my artwork on my Flare Dash store. Links are below. I will also put all the supplies I use below, so feel free to check it out. And I will have a Patreon coming out soon, so feel free to visit that. If I get a chance, I'll put it in the link in the description below because all of your guys' support help me bring out all these videos, and I like educating and sharing all this information with you. And hopefully it's helping you guys on your painting adventures as well. Hey guys, my name is Ryan. I will see you in the next painting tutorial coming up real soon. Stay tuned and I will see you guys later. Have a good one, take care and peace.